Okay, hello there. This is you know, Sazra again with another. Well, it's not a settlement build. This time I'm going to show you how to build something. I'm going to show you how to build a sanctuary house with the mod workshop items and USO. This is uh, this is Isaac, my Minuteman character. Put all my junk in here. Good way to get your scrappers to keep scrapping because they won't scrap. They won't collect junk. If you have more than 100 in there, so put it in another container. Uh, curse you, community posts. Yeah, it's a good way to share your builds if you want to share them. You can do them in communities. We're gonna scrap this stuff around here so we can build a sanctuary house. I've already done this twice already. First time I didn't record it, I was just working on it. Second time I was trying to record it, but I apparently forgot to... I had not pushed the right button to record. So I built the entire thing and ended up having none of it saved. Yeah. Why was I annoyed? Why was I angry about that one? Well, you want to line this up with the foundation. This is the... This is under the barn tabs for the workshop items, which gives you a bunch of barn stuff retextured to be home of the future. Oh, I forgot. You can, there's old and new ones, but I'm going to use the new ones because it fits with kitchen texture better. You need a 3 by 3x3 three three for here, and then you need one extra one up here. For the kitchen area, I mean, you can make it bigger than this. I'm just going to make it four squares. I mean, it's, it's a repeating texture, so you can just flip a couple of them around to add a little variety to how it looks. Or you can have them be repeating. I don't really care. doesn't matter. Now for the walls, we're going to need to go to barn, retextures, home in the future. Now you can build this in pre-war or post-war, but I'm just going to build, you know, I'm going to build post-war versions. But you can also do this with just regular wood pe retextured wood pieces from the wood tab if you want them to be shorter to kind of fill with the other houses but there's a reason I'm using the barn ones and I'll show you later spots where I'm skipping is where we're gonna put the windows For windows, we need to go to concrete, retexture, home of the future. And we need a white post war. Because the windows in the other buildings are white. So we need white for this. Match with. The I meant to have a window there. I forgot. Alright. They're gonna look like white from the outside, like how the ones in Sanctuary over here look. They look kinda similar, but not perfect. But it's good as good as I'm gonna get. This is on PS4. If you're on Xbox, there's a bunch of mods to actually make this better. Cordless 7 has done videos on this before, you know. If you wanna find good Xbox versions, go look up Cordless. Cordless 7. I'll probably try to remember to put a link in the description below. For the... Now we need to get the inner walls, which will be under barn, residential. We need to get these... Where is it snap? Why would you snap?
Huh. Oh, maybe I have to get another one snap in there first. I've had, I had this working before. It's just for some reason it's being a little fiddly right now. Yeah, you gotta snap one there first. You can snap in the rest. Now we're doing this so we can have... I mean, you could have this be two big rooms or two small rooms. It's up to you. I'm doing too small so we can have two bedrooms and a washer like the, you know, the sanctuary houses do. And I need this so I can put an inner wall between these. Now we need to make the roof. Which, if you want the pre-war version of the roof, that's under the... That's under workshop unlock... Or, Workshop items. I keep forgetting the mod's name because it's just a, it's a simple name. For the post-war version, you want to go into this one. Where you can find the post-war junkie rooms. put these up here just to add a little, you know, variety. You can have the these ones too. I just want to have that little variety window up there. So when you're looking at it on the outside, it looks a little better. You're not going to see it from the inside after we do something. Now for this, we need, for the next part, we need... I hate these pieces. They all look the same. These little multi-versions of these window things up here. We need the plain version, which has nothing else on it. No, not that one, not that one. That, that one. Alright. Oh, I forgot some... I forgot some inner walls. Hold on. We'll get those for a second. here in case you want to have something going between this because this is supposed to be the kitchen area you're gonna have like a counter between here or something you don't have to put this in i just i like it so i'm putting it in now to finish up you need to use pieces from you need to go back into the retextured barns home of the future and at the end you're going to find these pieces here which we're going to put in here to make it you know not look so tall if you're looking at, if you, if you didn't have these in here, it would look ridiculously tall and you have that big gap between the ceiling and all that. We don't want that. Uh, it doesn't want to turn. Whatever. It can sit in there like that, but you, you can, if you get them in right, they'll all face the same direction. That one was just one to be difficult. There. So that covers all of here. Now to finish it up, to finish it up and cover this gap, Add a little bit of texture to the outside to make that not look so weird being all white. We need to go to the wood tab. I went way too far and out of view, so yeah. Wood. 
retex not pier shack retexture home of the future now i need eight of these so i'm going to just place eight of them down and i'll come back for them when i need them now you get this little if you do try to do it with the wood if you try to do it with a little brown smudge on the left it'll snap in which you don't want so you put this brown, brown smudge on the right and then it lets you sink it in here and just place it in and for the top you're going to need to use either the pillar glitch or place anywhere i have place anywhere so i'm going to use that now for the back ones, you're going to have to use the pillar or place anywhere because they don't have this little ground here for me to just put it on like this. I'm just going to put it up here. You can line these up better than I am. I'm just kind of showing it. You can spend better, more time lining them up a lot better than I'm doing right here. I just want to get the thing done and let you guys see the finished product. Actually, the last time I was trying to build this for the recording, a raider showed up called a, a musket raider. I don't know what it was. Uh, some mod I must have had, I was testing out, must have added a weird raider with a laser musket. It, it was super powerful, super strong. I don't know where he came from. He nearly killed me. I'm building and then just some raider shows up and tries to kill me. Not fun. Now you can do the, uh, you can make these in yellow, but only if you use, use USO pieces. There is no USO yellow color, I mean there's no yellow color with the workshop items. It only comes in pre-war and post-war blue for that one. So for this particular bit, it does come with the internal walls, so you can still use those. So, it can still work. You just can't use any outer pieces that are pre-war yellow, I would assume, from it. Oh, it's over here. Ah, uh, forgetful. You know, just because I'm not... I hate you, Trash King Carla. We all hate you. I'm not saving this anyway, so... <laughs> Goodbye, for Trash King Carla. That's it. That's building a nice sanctuary house on all these empty lots that you can scrap. You can also use these pieces to actually patch up the sanctuary house. You just put some stairs and a, a door from the non-snap area of USO. The no-snap doors, they have the same door that they have over there. Side, you got... I mean, you do have this little bit of texture here, but you can probably ignore it. If you really want it, if it really bugs you, you can put a, another half wall up in white to cover it up. But, you know, it's a lot of effort for very little issue. So you're not going to see it that much. But, yeah, here's my little sanctuary, re rebuilt sanctuary house. I mean, it's not, a, it's not the greatest, but at least the roof doesn't have holes in it like the other ones. I do wish we somehow had from some mod the pieces with walls in them. You know, the little 
the ones with shells. That would have been nice, but I don't think, I do not believe, I do not believe it is in here. I'm fairly sure it is not a part of this. Quick look. You get a bunch of fun pieces with workshop items. Not everything has snapping, only things that are retextured, like this. There, it adds a bunch of other stuff too, like this stuff, but strangely some of it has a purple glow to it. I haven't figured out, I think it's a load order issue, but you get a bunch of stuff like that. A lot of stuff. Not all of it has snapping though, so you have to fiddle with it and get it all snapped in right. But you can make pre-war looking pre war houses with this mod. Which is, you know, pretty nice. Hmm. I have a feeling that snaps. I don't know why, but it looks like a barn wall. So I bet it snaps. But yeah, here's my sanctuary house. It only takes maybe 10, 20 minutes to build this. And you can do it all without this mod. I mean, without workshop items, you just don't get these nice internal walls here. You'd have to use some other kind of internal walls. USO has internal walls in white for the normal wood size pieces, but they don't have snapping in there. A little bit of a pain to get in. So, yeah, hope you liked the video. I know I'm rambling on a little, I just because I really don't know how to end the video, but... Hope you liked it. If you ever, if you like building it, let me know. Maybe leave a message. Leave a link if you feel like leaving a link to your sanctuary builds. I'll look at them. I, I mean, I doubt you care about my opinion, but I would like to see them anyway. So, goodbye.